and welcome to a brand new studio vlog. So I didn't actually do a vlog last week because I was doing an unboxing of my Mun Bin, I think that's how you say it, printer. It's a thermal label printer. So you replace the paper, you don't need to replace the ink, it just does it thermally. <laughs> Anyway, I did a little review video and if you're thinking of getting a label printer, I really recommend this one. So far, it's been brilliant. It prints so fast and it's really easy to set up. The only thing is it's not wireless. I didn't really even think about getting a wireless one, although I quite like that you can just plug it in and not worry about it, you know, disconnecting with Bluetooth and stuff. So yeah, I do love it. And I even got it in a cool color. So if you want to find this exact one, just have a little look in the description below and I leave a link to it. Okay, so I want to get straight into it this week. If you're new here, my name's Meg and I run Fizz and Flourish, an illustration business. And I make stationery and stickers and all sorts for my shop. Although, if I'm being honest, it's been a, such a long time since I've updated my shop. Um, I did a big shop relaunch before Christmas and um, after being on maternity leave and I launched a load of stationery. But it's been a really, really long time since I've updated my stickers, like since I opened my shop. I've added stickers here and there, but I've not updated the old sticker sheets. So if you've watched my previous couple of vlogs, you'll have seen that I'm in the process of updating all my old sticker sheets. So I'm kind of still doing that. I'm just, you know, doing it as and when I, I've got time. I want to make it a priority because I really want to do a shop update and get rid of those old sticker designs. I also decided to phase out my stationery. So these notepads have actually been really good sellers in my shop. A little bit of a slower burner than the stickers, but they have sold really well. And I've only got five of these near notebooks left. But basically I think having characters on my notepads, although I love these characters and I love having them on notebooks, if anyone finds me organically on Etsy, for example, they, don't really have a connection to this character. The only people I think that will buy a character notepad like this is someone that is following my channel and, you know, is invested in the character, knows about the character, has seen me drawing the character and stuff. So I think really I've limited myself in terms of potential sales with uh, products like this. Whereas my sticker sheets reach a much wider audience because a lot more people will search organically for a sticker sheet that don't really know who Fizz and Flourish is. So my plan is to have more products in my shop that can reach more people. And if it wasn't for looking after Freddie at home, I think I would have gone further with this. But as every parent knows, it's just really hard to get that balance.
some happy mail has arrived from my March Posty Pals. Now this is the last month I'm doing an art print and a sticker. Next month, April 1st, is gonna be full on goodie box. And I've already started ordering stuff now. So I can't wait to tell you more about that. Oh, that is so satisfying. Ooh. So I went for a double-sided art print this time and I went for A5 because I wanted it to have a bit more of an impact. Oops. So this is the back of it, but you can have, like, you can display whichever side you want. But here's for the big reveal of the other side and it's laminated as well, so it's really matte and smooth. And this is the other side. <gasps> Oh my goodness, the colours are amazing. Oh my god, I love it! So these are stickers that I'm going to have in my shop, but this art print is exclusive to Patreon. So if you want to get this, you're going to have to join the goodie box tier because I'm closing my posty pals, but you'll have to do this by the end of March, and then in April it's going to be goodie box. But I think this goes so well with the sticker pack. So I've chosen, uh, I think I chose six. So you've got a really cute teacup and teapot. So I chose my favorites really, and ones that I thought would go well together. So although the like sticker sheets are gonna be available in my shop, the sticker pack and the art print is exclusive to Patreon, and that's for my March Posty Pals. So like I said, if you wanna get hold of this, you're gonna to have to join the goodie box tier, which doesn't officially launch until April 1st. There are 20 spots, and I'm limiting it to 20 just so that I don't, you know, order too much stuff. And yeah, I absolutely love this. So it's double-sided, oh, I'm so happy. The colours have come out beautifully and I really love the line art stage so I just wanted to display it on an art print. Yay! Okay, now I can get shipping these and I can use my new label printer! I haven't even picked up the camera to say hello. Something I decided to do that wasn't actually on my initial to-do list. I'm sorry I'm talking quietly, but Freddie is asleep next door and I really don't want to wake him up. So, ages ago, over on my Patreon, I created a document all about how to grow your YouTube. And the reason I did this is because I had a Zoom call with my patrons and it was all about growing your YouTube. So I decided to basically type up my notes. It's 12 pages and it's basically just me kind of just talking through my thoughts on how I've grown my YouTube. Now I wrote this probably six months ago, maybe even longer. And yeah, there's a lot of information here that's that's really useful and I still stand by pretty much all of this. But I've learned a lot since this document was made and I was looking through it and I kind of think I'm just waffling a bit. It's just my thoughts blurted out into sections. I think I could do this 
a lot better. So I'm going through and redoing this completely. I'm changing the layout, I'm making it easier to follow and easier to digest. I think I could just break it down into simpler steps. So that was originally available for my RT Amigos, which was a $10 tier. But I have decided that since RT Amigos has now gone, there is no more RT Amigos here, I want this to be available to more people, not this version, but the new revamped version. So I'm going to give it to my Sassy Sidekicks, which is my $6 tier, which works out at about £4.44 for the month. I think this is going to be a great thing to download and keep. I've got my big screen, so I'm editing it and making it pretty as well because this layout is a little bit dull. And that's what I've been doing today. I think it's going to take me quite a long time. It's basically going to be a mini course, I guess. Okay, I need to get cracking, so I shall speak to you in a little bit. So it is now Wednesday morning. I'm talking quietly because Freddie is napping. Story of my life. When it comes to editing, that's really awkward to get the sound levels right. Anyway, so I've just been drawing a sticker pack, not sticker pack, a sticker sheet for my um, goodie box tier. The theme this month is Japan and I was gonna do a sticker pack, but I decided to opt for a sticker sheet because it meant that I could add all the little kind of stars and doodles and things um, as extra stickers. And it means that people can use them in their um, like planners and things. So I've just been working on the line art and I started that last night. I curled up on the sofa, got cozy and watched a load of true crime. And Derek's working away at the moment. The final episodes were really, um, dark and heavy and normally with true crime I'm absolutely fine but I went to bed and thought do I sleep with the light on? <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Yeah maybe not the best thing to watch before bed. I'm just gonna get colouring them in now then I'm gonna carry on working on my YouTube guide on how to grow a YouTube. It's taking me a really long time. I was hoping to get it out this month but it, it might be next month. So I'm trying to lay it out like pretty so that it's fun to look at and inviting to look at. So I've got like my title page, then a little bit about me and how I started my business. And we've got a contents page which outlines like all of the sections. And then I have started talking a little bit about analytics. So I want it to be a really useful booklet that people can refer back to. So it's taking me a little bit longer than I originally planned, but that's okay. I'd rather get it right and offer something really great on my Patreon. So I'm gonna carry on with that and then I need to continue with my sticker sheet updates. So once Freddie has woken up from his nap, I'm heading to Edinburgh to meet my best friend Amy as like a belated birthday celebration and we're going for sushi, which is pretty fitting considering I've been drawing sushi non-stop. So <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll speak to you later tonight. So I went blonder. Well, I want to say blonde, but like... So I got my hair done. I actually got it done for my birthday. And yeah, I decided to go a bit blonde. It's still pretty natural. And because my hair was fairly dark to begin with, it didn't go like super, super blonde. I love it. I wanted a lighter color for the nicer weather and yeah um i'm so happy i can't stop touching it she um she added some layers as well so it feels lighter and yeah i think once it's up as well you'll be able to see more colors coming in it's so rare for me to get my hair done it was a birthday treat from derek for my 30th so um, yeah, I was pampered and felt really good just to chill out for a few hours, although I actually end ended up taking my iPad and was drawing for a bit, but yeah, mainly I just sat there and chilled out, had a coffee, and yeah, it was really nice. So I'm back in the studio tonight, it's just the only time I can get work done is in the evenings or nap time, and eventually, I think I mentioned it before, but eventually the plan is to convert the garage. Um, and that means that I'm gonna be a bit further away from Freddie's bedroom and I don't have to talk quite as quietly, but yeah, we need to save up for that. The garage itself, it's already been plasterboarded, so it actually just needs a little bit of skimming and painting, but obviously the garage door lets a lot of heat out. So even if I added lighting, I think what we need to do is get rid of the garage door, brick halfway, and then add a window. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit expensive. So that is 
on the back burner for now, but it's definitely something I want to do and I'll have a bigger space as well. So um, I'm looking forward to eventually moving down there. So this room is really great. I'm so grateful that I've got it, but I am on top of myself a little bit, especially when it comes to packaging orders. It's perfect for when I'm working at my desk and editing and drawing and things like that. But when I actually want to package orders, it's quite tight. I mean, in comparison to where I was at the beginning of my business, I was in my bedroom. So that was really tight, but I wasn't really packing orders back then because I'd only just started my business. So, but now as the business is growing, it's definitely a little bit of a squeeze. But like I said, I'm so grateful that I've even got this space. What is on this to-do list tonight? I need to order some of my thank you cards. I did a little backpack design and the idea is gonna be that um, I'm gonna order a hundred of these cards and then once they run out, I'm gonna do another drawing and redesign something so that these cards are then collectible. So I just need to get them sent off because I've run out of thank you cards. And once they've been sent off, I'm gonna move on to my next job, which is finishing my art print for my goodie box. The goodie box is launching April 1st. I'm so sorry if I've been banging on about it, but I'm just so excited and it's something like a really new venture to me. So I don't mean for these vlogs to be so heavily focused on Patreon, but it's a platform I love and it's a platform that is currently growing which is amazing so I've got a few things to do for that goodie box I have this fabric that I need to make into something and before I ordered it I worked out all the measurements so that I knew exactly what I needed so that is on the to-do list but yeah for now I'm just gonna sit back and draw with my new blonde hair Good morning, so it's now Wednesday already. I don't know where this week has gone, or this month, but last night I was just working on the art print that I was doing for my goodie box. And it's something a little bit different, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So I decided to draw fans, like I think I mentioned it already, but the theme's ja all things Japan. And yeah, let me show you. So I've not quite finished it yet, so maybe I'll pop it on the screen here um, for you to see. But I'm really, I really like the colours. I tend to use the gradient maps quite a lot. So what I like to do, if you want to um, see how I use gradient maps, have a little look at the video that I've left above. It's all about how I design stickers. And towards the end, I've left timestamps, but towards the end, I use gradient maps. And I really like using the neon and then setting it to luminosity. And it just makes the colours, I don't know, it gives them a real pop and I really love it. So this is gonna be like an A5 art print. I just need to add the shadows and stuff and then, then I can get that sent to the printers and um, hopefully I can get it done for the end of March. It's already the 23rd, so we'll see. They're usually pretty quick, so fingers crossed I can get that ready for the launch day. Obviously I've got all of April to kind of put the boxes together, but I really want to be able to promote it and show what's in the box and stuff, so I'd love to have it done by the 1st of April. And yesterday I got so much work done. With Freddie there's a lot of stopping and starting and I mentioned that in my last vlog, but I actually managed to get a good amount of work done even though I'd gone to the hairdressers, which by the way, I'm loving this lighter colour. Yeah, I recorded a podcast and got it edited and got it out to my patrons and I was chatting a bit in the podcast just about like my business plan and update about what's going on with my shop because I have push the shop to the side. I I really haven't focused on it and I've noticed a decrease in sales because of that and I really need to get more products out there. They're just so old. I think I keep telling you about my stickers and stuff but I really need to update it. And I was chatting a little bit about how I'm steering away from these full character designs and I had a bit of an art block a couple of months ago and I just wanted to be able to draw a lot quicker and simplify my art style so that I'm not spending like eight hours on one illustration. And I really love doing these characters, but it wasn't bringing me as much joy as it was in the past. And I just, I don't want my illustrations and art style to be stressful. So I thought something has to change and I have to just draw what makes me happy. Now that's easier said than done because I didn't really know what makes me happy in terms of drawing. Yeah, I was having a bit of an art block and if you're an artist, you will know all about the art block. So as I was drawing my stickers because I really needed to update them, I realised 
I love drawing these props and then turning them into characters. I'm just, yeah, I'm having so much fun with it and it doesn't feel like a chore to draw, which is, you know, it shouldn't be a chore, I should be enjoying it. So yeah, for now I'm gonna stick with drawing these cute characters like my little uh, sushi stickers and yeah, I'm, I really love adding these little faces and bringing the characters to life and I think it's gonna help me create more products. So for example, with my like, Nia notepad, I think, have I told you this? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Pretty sure I've already said this. I'm going mad. Is baby brain still a thing? Nine months postpartum? Anyway, I'm gonna finish off this, this illustration and then get it sent to the printer. And I also need to design a notebook cover and I want it to be different to the art print. I don't wanna use the same illustration on all the things. So I'm gonna get designing that. I might actually use one of my little sushi guys and make a design that way. And then that means that I can send everything off in the one kind of order and then I only have to pay for shipping once. So that's on the to-do list today. Fingers crossed I can get that sent off and then I'll chat to you in a little bit. I can't reach you. I can't do my cool transition. Maybe I'll back out and have a transition coming this way. Did that work? Okay, bye. I just did a little test print and oh my goodness, I love this so much. So I, the colors won't be quite right because I'm getting the covers manufactured. The colors will be a lot brighter. I'm so, so pleased. So on the front, we've got the little dumpling guy and it says they see me rolling and we've got his jealous little sushi friends. And on the back, it just says post your pal giddy box, all things Japan. So this is the theme of the giddy box. And then on the inside, we've just got really simple, this notebook belongs to, but I've picked out the color from the prawn on the inside. So I think that's a really cool contrast. And I decided to go for an A6 size, but the goodie box is getting pretty full now. And I have to be really careful with weight because I don't want to get that shipping cost. You know, I don't want it to be classed as like a parcel or anything. So I decided to go for the A6 notebook, but I actually think it's going to be perfect because the design is so cute and I think it being a smaller notebook, it makes it just cuter and it's gonna be portable and you can pop it in your bag and it's not gonna be like carrying around a big heavy notebook. So I'm so pleased with this. It's turned out so much better than I thought. And I actually think this would look really cool on a greeting card, but for now this is exclusive to my Patreon. You won't be able to get this in my shop. And I love it. I can't believe how good this has turned out. So I try to keep in mind a color palette for this whole theme. Okay, so this is the art print. It's gonna be A5. Please ignore this line down the middle. This is actually old greeting card stock that I've got. I love this design. I think it's really pretty. And again, the colors I've kind of tied in with everything else. And then on the back, you've got Posty Pal Giddy Box, All Things Japan, and then a bit of the line art. So this is getting sent off to be uh, manufactured. So at the moment, this isn't even everything, but at the moment, you've got the A5 art print, the notebook, the sticker sheet, the vinyl sticker, each goodie box is, I think it's gonna have two of the Japanese sweets. And this is gonna be something that I'm sewing. I shall show you in another vlog. And there's also gonna be a bookmark. And I did wanna do a badge, but I don't know if it's just gonna be too much. We'll see what um, fits into the box, but yeah, I love it. Can you see why I'm so excited about this? Let's just brighten things up. That's better. Um, yeah, it's been a super, super productive day. I'm just having a coffee because I need to chill out. Derek took Freddie to see his gran, Freddie's gran, and it's amazing how productive you can be in just a few short hours. Before I had Freddie, if I had a few hours where I could work, I would definitely 
procrastinate. Whereas now, when I've got the time away from Freddy, it's like bam, 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 I get stuff done. So I have sent off for all of my products for the goodie box ready for April 1st. It's the 23rd of March, so I think they're gonna arrive in time for the launch date, which is amazing. It means you guys can see them. So if you wanna join, you'll know exactly what you're getting in the goodie box. I'm so excited. You already saw the test prints and everything. So Derek is on his way home, so I thought I would pop on. I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. It's definitely been a busy week in terms of getting products out, ready for the goodie box. And um, Next week, I'm gonna be focusing more on the shop update i think it'll be good to see my shop launch plans and stuff like that anyway i said i was gonna go and then i rambled on i tend to do this quite a lot I have another glob of coffee before my baby gets home so i will speak to you next week for another studio vlog don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe because i am posting regularly again and it feels amazing okay bye guys Hang on a minute. I will see you next week for another studio vlog. Okay, bye guys.